Hi everyone and welcome to Sit in It for a Bit with Arne and Carlos and we are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we are doing a regular pre-recorded Sit in It for a Bit and there is a very big reason for that yeah, because by the time this is out we are up in the air somewhere mm -hmm. on our way to Chicago Chicago yeah We'll be up in the air. We cannot we do... We can't do live tonight. No. So? so it's pre-recorded, but anyway, we are here and we are packing. We are ready to go to America. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, North America. We're going to the to USA and to Canada mm. as well. Uh, yeah, uh, we've got a... It's going to be a quicker sit in it for a bit than usual because uh, we are really busy. Um, I had to... I had a doctor's appointment today and I had to wait for over an hour. Uh, because they were so delayed, and that has uh, obviously delayed us here as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, we got to do what we got to do. We got a packing list this size because we're going to stay away for a month. And I still have to go and buy stuff. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're getting to use or getting to know our microphones a little bit better. When I did this, you kind of saw where my microphone is today. Just, you know, get it out of the way. I don't think it's, you know, that We need to have something attractive. too nice to cover it up with. Yeah. Then. So, but now uh, it's under yeah. the camera. And the guy, you know. the 12-year-old who sold us these, told us that we could actually also wear them in our back. I tried. It didn't work on me. It didn't? No. No? Well, I don't I know. Don't. We, we, we can try another time. Yeah, we'll try another time. But I can mm. see that the microphones are working because yeah. all these little green lights are blinking in front of so me. That's good. So uh, we but know But you that. know, Carlos, what I find so strange... This is the day we are packing, and I always find it so nice to be at home when we do the packing. Well, yeah, that's why because... Why is it like that? Because you always. know we're going to go away. That's why. Yeah, because I've been cleaning the last things in the garden. Yeah. I've been preparing stuff, and suddenly it's so nice to be at home. I know, and that's when we need to go. So we're going to um, recap what's happened since the last Sin It For Bit Live that we did last week. And we are going to, yeah, kind of uh, do a little... Uh, nice sit in it for a bit, um, a micro sit in it for a bit, so compressed. Uh, before we start though, um, I just wanted to let you know, or we wanted to let you know that we've got new merchandise on yeah. our um, YouTube channel, or for our YouTube channel, and uh, you can only see the hearts here, but this goes around and it says I heart, and then it says sack fab. fab. And for those of you in if the know... you show the sack and I show the fab. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So there you go. I love sack, sack fab. fab. And for those of you in the know who have been following sit and knit for a bit, for a while, uh, you'll know that sack fab is how we abbrevi abbreviate it. So um, yeah. the first letter of every word. I think and I have some questions about that. What we have, yeah. Sack fab? Exactly. And now you know, it's it and knit for a bit. Yeah. And what I love about sack fab is that it rhymes with one of my favorite, my all-time favorite um, British shows, Absolutely Fabulous, which is uh, also shortened Ab Fab. Well, this so, is... So I guess sack fab is Ab Fab. It's sack. Fabulous. Sack fabulous. Sack fabulous. Sit in it for a bit. <laughs> Anything that ends with a fab, I like. Yeah. So um, anyway, if you were wondering what sack fab means, now you know. And uh, you know, you know, like when Lady Gaga, she has her monsters, and uh, Beyonce has her beehives, and the Justin Bieber has his, his believers. I guess we have our sack fabbers. Sack fabbers. I like that. Yeah. The sack fabbers. The sack fabulous. Are you a sack faber? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, me too. I'm a sack fab. I'm so sack fabulous. Yeah. Anyway, you can get <laughs> some merchandise now on our YouTube channel. So go to arnacarlos.com, select merchandise from the menu, and you will be able to support uh, our channel by doing that. Also, uh, we have just launched uh, this year's uh, Christmas merchandise as well. Yeah. A little bit of that is coming or has already come. So you can go have a look. And we are going to be launching more things um, as we go. Um, there are some aprons coming as well. Um, that will be fun. Yeah. So I don't know when we're going to launch the aprons, that. but keep an eye on our merch. for. <laughs> we need aprons yeah. when we do our cooking. Yeah, videos. so I'm going to have one that says, I'm so good. Yeah. And you're going to have one that says, I can eyeball anything. I can eyeball anything. Anything. So how about that? That's so me. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we've got the merchandise ready, and uh, the proceeds of the merchandise goes towards our channel, and that is one of the things that actually keeps the channel free. Yeah. So uh, we appreciate it if you uh, if you want to buy something, and if you don't, you don't have to. There's no. no pressure at all. No. 
But we had a lot of fun uh, doing the merchandise, and we hope uh, you will enjoy it. Yeah. And this week has been busy. We've yeah. been out and about. Oh, yeah. We've been in Bergen. Yeah, first we did our sitting it for a bit live. Yeah. Then we had Thursday off uh, to re... You know, we just we had just pretty much come home from uh, on the boat from the knitting cruise. Yeah. Um, the ship, the ship, Sh ship, yeah. Uh, ship. Yeah, we'd we'd come home from the <laughs> knitting cruise, and we just had a few days, and then um, yeah, Thursday was a catch up day, and then in the evening we went to uh, the airport, and we flew to Bergen uh, the day after because Hurtigruten, the Norwegian Coastal Express, the company who does. Uh, who does the, well? Who has ships uh, along the coast? They also do a lot of other kinds of uh, tours. They do what they call expedition trips or expedition journeys, and these are kind of scientific and take you to very exciting um, destinations around the world. And uh, we were invited to check out the MS Spitsbergen. Mm. Uh, uh, she was anchored. In Bergen for the Which day was, that was, on Friday. I think that was very nice. Yeah. So. I, a nice I'm excuse. Do a lot of trips with that boat. Oh yeah, ship. Uh, absolutely. I always say boat. Ship. Yeah, but boat, ship, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, we, it was a great chance or a great excuse to take a little trip to Bergen with Gita, our uh, travel agency um, contact person, mm -hmm. and get a guided tour of the ship while it was um, anchored in Bergen. And uh, yeah, a very, very, very beautiful ship. Very small. Yeah, uh, tiny, that's what actually. I liked about it because mm. you can imagine when you go up to Svalbard and you're in between those icebergs mm -hmm. and you see the polar bears yeah. and everything, and the small boat, you can see what's happening on both sides. Yeah, of the yeah. Ship, of it the was ship. yeah the size of the ship. I like that. The size of the ship. I mean, there's private yachts that are bigger than this ship. That's for sure. Mm. So it was very cozy and very intimate. We had a lovely time on board. Then we had a delicious fish lunch and. Um, in the new fish market in Bergen. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the hotel where we usually um, stay in Bergen when uh, the day before uh, we board our Hutterutten yeah. and learned all about the history of the hotel. That was also fun because we didn't know it. So yeah, now we, had we, no ha clue. we have a lot of news now for people when next time you come to the to Bergen. We to can travel with us. We can yeah. show you some. It was very interesting stuff. that the hotel is very connected to Hutterutten. Yeah. It's part of the, it, it was actually part of the um, of the Hutterutten at once at one point um, and it is a very old building and it is yeah. a national monument the mm -hmm. hotel the building is uh, protected from the 1920s no. and that the cool the coolest thing was that uh, if you go to the sixth floor and then there's a winding staircase you go up to the top and there's you're in a tower that has a 360 degree view mm -hmm. of Bergen that is amazing so yeah we're gonna have to start recommending all our guests <laughs> to uh, to go up the tower and those of you who haven't been up the tower that have been our guests if you come back uh, we will make sure that and you... they also showed us the like there's an old room in the hotel a su suite mm. is that what they call it suite a suite, suite. yeah suite. beautiful suite. and they just took us in there to show us how old this building was and mm. and the room was paneled and it was a big fireplace and i beautiful I, to, I was so inspired for renovating the storage house the yeah. studio because yeah. we have plans with all doors. Mm. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was an absolutely room. gorgeous room. And also, it was another funny story. There's a, in the tower, there's a clock. And that clock has never, I mean, since it was put there in the 1920s, it has never uh, stopped. No. So even during the war, World War II, even then they were uh, winding it up. And apparently there's this old man who yep. comes in every, was it every month or every week or? I don't remember how often, but like he came he's in been, pretty often. He's been there for years and, yeah. and suddenly the, the girl or the boss who showed us around, she hadn't noticed him for like, yeah. that just, just recently? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. And now, now he's very old, so yeah. he's teaching his son to do the same to thing. To wind up the clock. To wind yeah. up the clock. And he just turns up, this really old man, yeah. to just wind up the clock. That's his job there. Uh, so it was oh, really cool. cool. It's very nice, like you're in this room and you see the back of the clock, like the machine thing. So that was really nice. Mm. Behind a locked door, because that's only for this old guy. Yeah. And his son. It was really lovely. So, so we had that, you know, we did that, and it was nice to learn more about the history of the hotel so that we can tell our guests, which mm. was lovely. Then we went to the fish market in Bergen, which is the modern, the new modern fish hall. 
which has a couple of really good seafood restaurants inside mm -hmm. it, yeah. to have some delicious food. I had a tuna salad, a fresh tuna salad that was amazing. But I think that it didn't beat what Arna had. I had the fish soup. I always had the fish soup. Or no, actually, you not did only not. fish. This was the one with you did not have seafood. the seafood. Yeah, yeah, you had the seafood, seafood soup. You did not have the fish soup. It was the seafood. The seafood soup. soup. And how was that? It was so good. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I'm having that all the mm -hmm. time. If there's sea or seafood or fish soup on the menu, I eat it. Yeah. So good. And then we went to take a walk. Uh, Arne was looking for a cheese platter for our advent calendar, which we then recorded uh, the couple of days after. We're not going to tell you why we needed a cheese platter, but tell them what kind of cheese platter you wanted. The one that is like uh, spinning. Yeah, like a lazy, uh, is it a lazy Susan? I don't know. It's called? Like, the, like in a Chinese restaurant, you yeah. have them. Uh, and we had one many years ago, and I can't find it. Maybe we throw it, have thrown it away. Mm. I don't know, but it's like a small wood plate and yeah. then a bigger one, and that one turns around. So Arna says, so, Arna says that he knows where everything is, but um, no, he doesn't. No, not that one. So we but couldn't, most, most of the others. Yeah, we couldn't find the cheese platter, <laughs> and while we were in Bergen, we thought we'd buy one. We went to a couple of these home furnishing kitchen kind of stores and they have nothing to our t to our liking. No, they had like, we found a, a tapas. Yeah, it was like a tapas. It was tapas not what we wanted. thing that is rolling, but then you have like the base in black, like plastic and then there's a porcelain thing on top mm. and we would never use that porcelain thing yes. so so we didn't we get don't it. buy things we don't need no and then we never in, instead instead we got the Georg Jensen uh, Christmas decoration yeah, for 2022 is, we got that one. we do so collect those yeah. um and uh, yeah and that that's pretty much what would happen no and because then I said we had to go to the I knew about a very good thrift shop yeah, yeah. and maybe they have a cheese platter so we went there and but the problem is that this this is actually two shops and they are so crowded. Mm. There is like two meters you can walk into the shop and then there's like piles of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can't see things. Yeah. So I, I asked the guy like, do you have well, a cheese Well, he wasn't plant? there to start with. No, he with. wasn't there, but then he came and then and I, I mean, asked there's, him. There's literally a million things in this really tiny yeah. cramp. And, and we tried walking in to say, hello, hello, is anybody if, if, here? Yeah, but there were no one Nobody there. there. But then he popped up and then I said, do you have a cheese platter that is like rolling like this? And he said turning? no, very And then fast. he said no. And I said, I didn't say it, but I was thinking, how do you know? How do you know? Yeah, how do you like, know? There was, in, he couldn't know yeah. what but he had. he knew. But, but do you find you found some? Oh yeah, I'm a good uh, I'm a good thrift shopper now. Yeah, you're learning, um, and I know how to pick out really good things. Apparently, I have an eye for this and mm -hmm. talent, so uh, it was pretty cool. It was very so nice. So I'm there was something that caught my eye, um, and I decided to buy it. It's a table lamp, and it's not just any kind of table lamp. It's a beautiful marble table lamp from probably I would say the turn of the century and I'm going to tell you why I think it's from the turn of the century so it's from from the end of the 1800s the beginning of the 1900s and um, I've got it here it's and quite it's heavy heavy it's quite heavy so this is the top of it uh, and it's got these little things and then I'm going to lift it up oh god it's heavy oh okay and this is what it looks like all together I'm going to put my hand there so uh, tilt it over yeah anyway you can see like, it's lovely green marble. And then it had a, a cable or a wire. It had a wire and on top of that was this. So it was kind of kind of like that, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole, the whole thing is gonna, you know, once we repair it, this is gonna go here on the top. And then there's gonna be a beautiful, gorgeous lamp shade that we're gonna buy. We have this place in London that we buy these beautiful lampshades. They're made out of vintage sari fabrics in silk. Really, really beautiful. So we're gonna get a gorgeous one. I'm this thinking. Will be so beautiful. I'm thinking actually not a sari, but an ikat fabric yeah. for this, um, and I think it's gonna be beautiful. We do need to do some. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, I looked up the word and then I forgot. It's like you have metal and then you have this other thing. We call it the bolt, and then you heat up the metal and then you, you will. You, yeah, you warm it and then you can. Then this this piece will kind of stick to the yeah. other thing. And I also got I bought this for you, so you have because it it was white on the on the old one. Yeah, it so, was so yeah. some black cable, and then the plug. Yeah. So this is this is yeah. So this is the shade carrier. 
So the wire goes down there, right? The shade carrier here, and then there's gonna be um. I, I found the black one. Yeah. Then this goes on top. So this one with, with the it goes in here, and then there will be, a, and this one has a switch. So yeah, uh, it's nice to have the switch on the lamp. Yeah, it is. So very easy. I mean, super easy. Now I spent two hundred dollars, or about yeah, about two hundred dollars, two hundred euros on this lamp. I think it's a bargain. And I think that if we would have bought this in auction in an auction house, it would have probably have been a thousand dollars. Probably. I mean, it is a very solid. It's in perfect condition. And I mean, look at this. Look at these beautiful. Um, this looks like markings. like dragons or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Or, and that's or that's dogs. I don't know. It, yeah, maybe more dragons. Yeah. So that's what I was gonna get to. So the reason why I believe that this lamp is from. Uh, the end of the 18th, or sorry, the end of the 19th, or the beginning of the 20th century, is because of these medallions. There's four medallions, as, as you can see, they're kind of dragons or dogs. Uh, but this is very typical of the time. It's this sort of national romantic movement in Norway and in Sweden and in Denmark. And then the architect, ar architecture is very specific. They look kind of back mm. into the Viking era and into this kind of romantic image of rural Norway uh, and they created this kind of um, uh, decor that was kind of inspired by that. This is the time when the folk costumes uh, were born in, in a way. We were a little so, bit worried when we took it to... Yeah, oh yeah, and then we've got... What you call that? The security, yeah, security in the airport yeah. because we only had hand lag and luggage. So and this you can is... see as well here the faces on the column. Mm. So uh, this was your oh, hand luggage. Uh, I think I'm gonna gain some muscles after all the carrying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, we, we had gone to Bergen without uh, luggage, check-in luggage, and obviously you can't, <laughs> you can't send this through, so I had to carry it. And we did have to get back to where Gita was, so uh, we had a long walk to meet her. And so I was carrying this uh, the whole time. And obviously, um, I mean, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. When, I, when we got to the airport and we went through security, even though I put this on the thing for the machine they got clocked obviously they wanted to check that it wasn't something else strange yeah but but it was, it was fine. fine and then it's not a big it's not a big odd object it's just heavy it weighs about five kilos um 10 pounds so it's quite heavy um and yeah i uh i got it through security eventually they did you know to check that it wasn't i don't not radioactive but the other uh -huh. one I don't know what they... That, yeah, that it wasn't explosives. Yeah. And yeah. then we got it through security and By then there was no issues getting on board the plane because that's the only thing I had mm. in my hands. And Arna had a little backpack with with our toiletries from mm. the night as we had stayed but in the hotel. Talking about five kilos, Carlos. Yeah. I think that my workout thing, maybe I shouldn't bring that to on our tour. Yeah, you've got you've got your yeah yeah. I think I, I took it out. Where did that end up? I was thinking maybe I should put put that in the suitcase, but that is five kilos. Mm. It's too much. But most hotels that we're going to be staying at, most of them have a gym. Yeah, I can and work. I can when, do it there. Yeah, and when we have the holiday week, when you know Thanksgiving week off, we could get one then. Yeah. And but five kilos, we need those five. Yeah, ten kilos. pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need those that for way. something else. Yeah, but I should I should do that workout for my tennis elbow every second day. Hmm. Absolutely. No, no, we're gonna figure. We're gonna yeah. find a solution. But yeah, now today is a very hectic day. Uh, the kitchen's a mess. Um, in uh, about forty-five minutes, I need to get in the car. I'm gonna drive Freya to where she's gonna be staying, and I have to make sure that she's got her food with her mm -hmm. and all the essentials. Although our friends, do, they do have the key to this house, so if we forget something, they can pick she's it up. keeping an eye on the yeah. house. Then we so. are going, then we are going, I'm going, no, you're, st you're working here. I'm then working I'm here, going to the supermarket to get yeah. some last minute things, couple of gifts. Um, we're also gonna get um, a cheese, a brown cheese to give away as gift. Mm. Um, I shouldn't say that though out loud, just in case the receiver but no one knows recipient. Who's getting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna get some deodorant because I don't like the American deodorants, so I want to get one from here. <laughs> Maybe too much information. <laughs> yeah. I don't. We know. don't need to know yeah. these things. So yeah, we you know a couple of last minute things. Ziploc bags. I love traveling with Ziploc bags. They're so useful. You have so many strange things you need to do. I know. Yeah. yeah. 
And, and then, yeah, I get everything in order and start packing. And uh, Arne has already <laughs> yeah, taken out his projects. That I, I need to bring my pro project. I th are you bringing books? I'm bringing a couple. Yeah, yeah I'm reading Murakami. Um, yeah, I found three books. I have to finish have to finish this one, a Norwegian author. She's really good with this year. We've been on a book tour in Norway with her, mm. and she's great fun. And this is her last book. It's called 15 Years. I don't know if that's in English. And then I brought um, Ståle Vig. Mm. He writes about his time in Cuba. He bought a taxi, and he worked as a taxi driver in Cuba. Mm. This one, I brought this on another trip, and I didn't read it. Okay. But this time, I'm going to read this one. And then I have another one I heard about on the radio. It's called Edmund Deval, Letters to Camundo. Mm -hmm. Very it's nice. about the art uh, antiques collector in Paris, and it's yeah, it's mm. about the house he built for the stuff he collected, and okay. it's like cool. Second World War and things. I'm reading Murakamo, but I can't remember the title. My COVID brain, <laughs> I can't remember. It's, it. Um, but I'm reading the one with the cat. It's the one with the, the cat. You read the one in English. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't remember the title. It's the one with the cat. The one with a boy that runs away, and then there's a cat. So uh, we have two of those. It's very surreal. Um, yeah. But what was the name of the title? I can't remember. Yeah. No, but you will take it with you. I will take it yeah. with me. Yeah. But my COVID brain. Oh my goodness. I mean, mm. how can I not remember the name? I was reading it the other day. It's also, called. I have, I have to pack this one. This is all the things you need in case you lose buttons and. I'm not reading Norwegian wood. That's not the one. No, you're I'm reading, reading the one with the cat. What is the name of that one? I, I saw the book somewhere. Yeah, yeah, well, it's in my luggage. And then I have another one here, but I've read that one. It's the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> you mm. don't remember anything. Well, no. I, I actually, I have to say, I, I never remember. I hate that books. I don't remember. <laughs> I yeah, but I mean, before COVID, I could remember everything. And now I'm like you. I can't remember <laughs> anything. So I've always been like that. You've always been a little bit more... Uh, distraught or yeah. confused or and i brought you know. the new project yeah so uh yeah we're gonna get packing projects and we're gonna get yarn when we go to the u.s uh, I, so. I didn't i didn't pack i have i don't think i will bring a lot of yarn this time because you, we're going to the space. roven shops and i can get norwegian wool there so i'm i started a new project mm. so but i I'm not sure if it works yet, so I'm, I don't want to show the pattern yet because mm. it's something different I'm working on. Okay, so, so another project. Another colors, yeah. and I haven't. So that's one project. I'm gonna be knitting. I'm gonna work on this tonight. I'm gonna be knitting Christmas balls on the run, on the go. I know that I can do that fast. Uh, I know the pattern by memory, and uh, yeah, if uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do Christmas balls. Uh, but yeah, we've got some projects. This is a secret project. Okay. So this is uh, something I will make. As a gift for some. Okay, secret project. And then I have. Um, In Chicago, we're gonna do these. So I'm gonna, I, I, you know, we brought these little uh, wrist warmers. Yeah. These are available also on our on our um, web shop. Here is the. the I only black found ones. one of them. Yeah, but anyway, these I like these. These are really nice. So we're gonna teach that. So we're gonna do that. And another project in gray and white and black and mm. a little bit. A little bit black and a little bit red, also Norwegian wool, but I, I'm not bringing more than this little bag. Yeah. So, but. And then we're going to do these hats as well. These are fun. These are also on our um, web shop. They're called Reine. So these are going in the. Yeah. So we're going to teach or yeah, teach mm. people to do knit and purl the Norwegian way and Norwegian color wear. And then there's a cute little Christmas ball that we're going to do and as well. And a Christmas ball, but that one we don't have because I. We send it to... That is in Oslo. Yeah. And then we have the little florals. And we work... Yeah. So I'm going to bring only one. Yeah, one. one's enough. I have a f big bag of these that are almost mm. ready to crochet together. So this is the Primula plan uh, blanket. But I don't want to bring all these. Maybe they take them. Yeah. In the... No, they don't. But... Maybe... No, it's, I mean, you don't need more than this. I mean, this is just to show how they are attached. That's, that's all you need. With this one, yeah. so uh, yeah, no, you're good. We're good. We're we're good. So put this in the suitcase. We've got the suitcase That's going, here. And and I also decided now I'm not bringing my scrapbook this time because we travel light. 
<laughs> light. See, light means see, four this takes so much space. space. Light means four suitcases, yeah. two large carry-ons for the airplane, and then two massive check-in bags. And, and soft bags. Some soft bags inside. In the suitcase. Because they do tend to yeah. expand. But this is too heavy, so I'm going to, since we're staying in hotels, I would take those, you know, I think that's kind of called those papers they have in mm -hmm. hotels with the name of the hotel, yeah. and then I can do my sketches and my notes on those, and I put them in a, pla in a in like a folder, and then I don't have to carry so much, and I can glue them in the book when I come home. Yeah. But I'm bringing the book with knitting projects because yeah. now I've been so organized. I have oh, made yeah, yeah. one book only for knitting because I normally I have to go through all these two books to find something. Mm -hmm. Now I'm organized. Yeah. You like that? I love that. Me organized. Oh, wow. That is new. Maybe you could organize your workroom I and could. the studio. I could, uh, but, you could, will, but you will won't. I do that? You no, won't. no I won't. you won't. But this this is so secret. I can't. This is a project. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know. No, you don't know. I, I, and I'm really not sure. I can't show it to you until I'm finished a mm. few rounds because I don't know if. The but I have a tip work. for you. Don't be too ambitious because we are going to be busy in the U.S. It's not like you're going to have. But we have some time, maybe but not in like, the car. Yeah, or but not like Hutu Dutan. So, uh, well, but I'm, yeah. Now you have to make sure you have space for your clothes as well, not only your projects. Although, if you do, you know, you we'll could make see. your clothes on your on the way. I can do my clothes, but yeah. I think I'm not bringing too much clothes because mm. we have some days off, and I like to go thrift shopping. Yeah. Are you bringing that big project that you're doing there as well? No, I ha my plan was to to sew this together because now this is finished. So this is the the top of the sweater yeah. that you were knitting on the ship on the cruise. Yeah. So the so yeah, it's grown. And it looks so long, and I don't know if it's the eyes that trick me, but I can always take up a few of yeah. these rounds and do a new rib. You know what I'm thinking now that you say that? Huh? I wish I had that problem. Mine still <laughs> looks pretty much like a little toe, um, and he's got something that looks too big. So that's our problems. Huh? Um, my plan was to finish it and wear it on the tour, but that ain't gonna happen. I think no. I, t I don't think I would put out the sewing machine tonight. It's too late. But this is how it will look. It's gonna look great though, once it's done. It's beautiful. I took off the green mm. because yeah, the sleeves good. were too long. I think it was a good idea to take out the green. Yeah, so there will be no four, fourth mm. color on this one. Good. But if, um, Very good idea. I will uh, finish everything and s maybe I steam it tonight and then I will just leave it until mm. we come back from America and then I can start yeah. two new projects on so the So we'll road. see what happens. So uh, tomorrow uh, or today because you're watching it while we are in the air, uh, we are going to, the, to North America, fly to Chicago and we'll stay there a few days. Then we'll go to New Orleans, then we're going to uh, Leonardtown in Maryland, then we're going to um, Nashville, then we're going to take a week off and we're going to be in the New York, New Jersey area, and then uh, we're going to fly to Canada and do a couple of days in Prince Edward mm -hmm. Island. Um, there's going to be sit in it for a bit hellos. Um, I'm not sure yet if we can do it from all places, but next week, sit in it for a bit hello will be from uh, the hotel uh, where we are staying in New Orleans that I know for sure mm -hmm. because we are actually off on that day oh, we cool. have the day off so I know that we can do that maybe we have found something yeah. we can show you people the, yeah so. exactly <laughs> the week after we're in Leonardtown I don't know what's gonna happen then if we just pop in and say hello for like three minutes or what we can do we'll see the one after that will be the day before Thanksgiving, so um, probably we can get on as well and say and do a sit in it for a bit. Hello, from probably New York or mm -hmm. New Jersey. We'll see where we are, and then finally the last sit in it for a bit. Hello, um, is also going to be the last sit in it for a bit for 2022. It's going to take place on the 28th of no, no, is it the 30th of November? Anyway, yeah, it's the 30th of November. Mm -hmm. 28th is a Monday. So the 30th of November 2022 is going to be the last sit in it for a bit hello that we do. Because um, and the reason, in December. The reason is because, Arne? In December we have the Advent calendar and then we will be popping up every day. Yeah. And on Sundays we will pop up two times. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, so that's the good news. Uh, we can travel to the United States and to Canada, and we can do so uh, in peace, knowing that there will be a uh, Advent calendar or a countdown to Christmas, as we're calling it this year, yep. uh, in December, because we've just recorded it. We spent the entire weekend with Anna and Eric. I'm still exhausted from that. Uh, but we did, and uh, 24 episodes are, uh, have been recorded, yeah. and now Eric and Anna are going to do their magic with the editing and the music and everything, and um, yeah, we will have an advent calendar that will premiere on December 1st at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is noon uh, Eastern time or 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the only time when this is not going in sync is right now. So you're watching, if you are in North America, I think even in South America. So if you are in the Americas right now, uh, you haven't changed uh, to winter time, but we have here in Europe. And that is why uh, sitting it for a bit is an hour earlier for you guys uh, today. And um, this is because we are now back in winter time. So we've gone an hour back in time whilst you haven't, which means that uh, we've got an hour less to acclimatize to when we arrive in uh, Chicago. But then on the weekend, we're, um, the Americas are going to wintertime, and then we'll have to deal with that issue. So then. Europe is 5 o'clock, in, like in Scandinavia, when it starts. Yeah, well, yeah, right now. Right now. Yeah, so. England, 6 o'clock. No, no, no. U UK, yeah. no, the UK, UK. and uh, Europe, we're all the same uh, as always. Right now. Yeah, so six, it's 6 p.m., or this podcast, that started, this podcast started at 6 p.m. Central European time, and it started at 5 p.m. British time. No. But in the, in the USA, for example, and in Canada, in Easter time, usually it starts at noon, but it started at 1 o'clock. Uh, and in Central time, it started at 12 instead of 11, because we are an hour less. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's, but that on, that's only now, and then it, um, and then it will change uh, next week. It sounds confusing, right? Yeah, we wish but that... But it's, it's, this is not live, so it doesn't matter. No, it's not live, it doesn't matter. But we really do wish that, uh, that the whole world could kind of do it in one way, like everything similar. It's the same with the metric system and the imperial and the centi centimeters and mm. inches and the Celsius and Fahrenheit. It kind of doesn't align, really. Yeah. Um, kilometers and miles yeah. and the shoe sizes of course yeah. because our shoe size is 42 and yesterday i learned that that's a size nine in the u.s mm -hmm. so good to know well i i knew that you knew that because you... when we buy shoes abroad sometimes it's a nine like mm. converse i didn't shoes. know i always forget oh. well nowadays i forget everything <laughs> after covid so yeah and, Anyway, we're going to be enjoying ourselves, I hope, and uh, it's going to be nice to have a change of scenery. But I do agree, Arne, I wish we could stay home in this lovely house of ours, which is lo looking <laughs> extra cozy. Very cozy tonight, or because it's uh, very foggy outside, it's yeah. like a little bit spooky, and it didn't get, like, it starts to get dark early in a way yeah. because and you know, that's, of that fog. But that's, that's the nice thing about this time of the year. It gets darker earlier. You can light some candles. You can put a little fire in the fireplace. You can sit in front of the fire and knit and have a lovely and cup of tea. And you can start to wear your knitwear again. And you again. can start that's to wear your nice. knitwear again and you know have a cup of tea in your new I love sack fab the mug, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, life is good and then and we you have can, to leave. Soon you can start to pull your Christmas stuff out. Hmm. And then we're going to be back in the beginning of December, December 4th. We will return to Norway. And then we are going to have the whole Christmas frenzy again, because we just had it this weekend with, with Anna and Eric, yeah. kind of like on speed. It was really hard. It was uh, one of the toughest things I've done in my life. I was physically and <laughs> psychologically completely dead. Yeah. But, but I think it's going to be a good advent calendar this year and hope so. we hope that you'll enjoy it and again sorry that we can't do it live but we've never done the advent calendar live it's impossible to commit to an audience for 24 episodes mm. unless you pre-record it is the way it is uh, with the tv and everybody but, does it actually mm. it's not only us but for, before we did like the advent calendars and we were thinking it's coming on that day so we talked about that day yeah 
But well, this time we try not to talk about Well, it's day one, day two, day, two, day three, day, day two, four, right? So people obviously. don't get confused. Yeah, we don't want to get the imp you know give the impression that we're lying to you. And some people do get offended if we if we do a calendar and it's not live. But, you know, it, it's very difficult to get those things live um, and actually be consistent. So the consistency and the hard work that we put behind has to be done in advance in order for you to enjoy it at the right time. Um, and that's the way it is. No, this tea is cold. Yeah, this tea is cold. I am a little bit stressed. So I went to the doctor today just to, for a regular kind of checkup. Uh, it's, it's something to do with my eyesight. So um, I had to wait for a long time. And now I feel like I am an hour behind. Um, yep. and, and you should go and yeah, I, deliver Freya. I'm going to go. Yeah, I have to leave in 20 minutes. Yeah. To, I'm going to find her food, yeah. fill up food. And I feel it's getting darker. Yeah, because it's winter time here. Yeah. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, again, sorry that it wasn't live. We did promise you live episodes in 2022. But today is just uh, not possible because, I mean, today, for you guys, we are sitting um, in a sus flight to Chicago. Um, but it's yesterday for <laughs> us. And uh, today, in our time, we are busy getting ready for our big trip to North yeah. America. So by the time you see this, you are probably sleeping and I'm reading my book. Yeah. Or, you're really or I'm sleeping. reading the book. I still can't remember. Oh, this is, annoys me <laughs> so much. What is the name of this book? It's about a cat. So it's Haruki Murakami. And a cat. It's a boy. But he has two books. Okay, but the boy runs about, away. That I know about. The about boy the runs cat. away and takes stuff from his dad. Yeah. And then there's a cat. But then there's another book where a man... Is it something wonderful? One, oh, know. but there's another book where the guy lost, loses his father, or the father passed away, and the son get the cat. But I'm sure you know. That's so put it in the. What, what, what is that title? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna go look at my book. Um, I don't have it. You here. have to show it on your next next. Well, well yeah, but I'm sure that I'm gonna be reminded of the title down in the comments below. Let me know the title of my book, please. My Haruki Wood Murakami. But you know what? At least I've remembered. You know, from the few pages I've read, I do remember... It's a cat. It's a cat. Yeah. And I remember the boy was going to leave home and he took... He was considering taking his dad's Rolex and he wanted to take as little things as possible. He didn't want to be suspected of being a runaway and, and, and a couple of things. So anyway, it's, it's, um, it's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> so. But in this house, it's a dog. And the dog has to go away now. The dog has you to go to away, go yeah. And deliver the dog, yeah. I think. And you should have seen. Dark. You should see Freya now. She's a huge fluff She's ball. Fluffy. We, we had, had her uh, showered. And yeah, we showered her yesterday, and we we uh, calm, blow drew her hair, calmed her hair, and made her her like a big fluff ball, yeah. and so that her coat is nice and uh, in you know good, uh, so that it doesn't mat too much because when we come back, it might probably get very muddy. And then she's going to go to the groomer. So that's will we. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So, um, yeah, lots of things to do. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please um, give us a big like um, if you enjoyed this episode. Tell me the name of the bloody book with a cat. <laughs> Haruki with Murakami. I can't remember. You know, when I see the title, I'm going to go like, oh, yeah, that's the title. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our mailing list. And if you are a subscriber here on YouTube, make sure to tap that notification bell so that you always get informed when we have a new episode. And we see you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. We've got a cool episode coming. And then next week, next week, see you on Hello from New Orleans. Bye. Bye.